welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Extra Channel. Yep. That's what we, you told me to stop there. No, I know, because they, they know what that is now. Do they? Yeah, yeah, more but casual. But what if they don't? What if they're new? It's a more casual one too. We have an, another channel. It's the main channel. This um, is the extra one. And today we're featuring, so we've been filming some really cool stuff on our California trip. Yes. But this has been keeping us going. The uh, noble steed. Yeah. And Cat. this is the 2022 Jaguar I-Pace, which means it's the electric one. Because there is an E-Pace, which sounds like it would be electric. Yeah, that makes no but sense. But it's not. It's just a smaller F-Pace. Right. So that's petrol. But this is dual motor, lithium ion, all wheel drive, EV. Well, it's not a lead acid battery, we know that. No. It, it is it's all wheel drive. All wheel drive. Range? The range is 253 miles. Wow. So it's not world breaking. Let's see if I can stump him. Is it bigger or smaller than an uh, than a EV6? I don't know about the actual length, but the wheelbase is bigger and it's just underneath the uh, Ionic 5. Because okay. this photograph's big. It looks like a big thing. It's, yeah, when you see a picture of this, it looks bigger than the Ionic 5 would be, but it's not. But the Ionic 5 is bigger. It's actually kind of low, too. It's this nice. Is, this has got some EV6 looking side. Yeah, profile. yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It looks like it is absolutely prioritized passenger space. Like this is a big old honking door. Look but, at the length but, of that. But the EV6 is bigger. It feels bigger, at least standing next to it. But I mean, you expect this, since it's a Jag yeah. and not a Kia, to be nicer, right? Yeah. It's more money. It is. This, so this is 70 grand. 70 grand. US. We'll get the Canadian price. Okay. Um, but they've they've knocked off the price. Like it was, it's a, This is the HSC. It only comes in HSC now, which is the yep. JLR fancy trim. And it is $11,000 cheaper than it was. So it's the same price as the base was. And It's currently blah, blah, blah. at 30% battery, and it says 78 miles. Who's got range anxiety? We don't. We do. Oh, we don't. don't. No. No. Um, but yeah, it is a Jaguar. It does cost more. It doesn't provide any more range than the others. It looks cool, though. It, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. This, this, this is in a funny color. It's kind of champagne, and I'll never support champagne, but this one, they've called it Aruba. Aruba? Uh, Aruba. Jamaica. Are you going to drive it? Yeah, I'm driving. Well, what happens to rock, paper, scissors? OK, fine, I'll beat you. I mean, you, you want to go through this every single time. It's up to you. It's like, it's, you know, it's a trial. I okay. get a trial. All right, that's fine. You ready? We're going on three? Uh, yeah, we'll throw on three. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh. One, two, three. What is, this is a karate chop. That is not, that is not. Get in the passenger God. seat. Broke my streak. Okay, driving. Yeah. James, I told you to, to wear the same clothes. Now they're going to know it's a different day. It's not a different day. It's a different it's day. It's just I'll do a bunch of wardrobe changes. Yeah, we're now in a totally different candy and following a group of Porsche enthusiasts. 911 enthusiasts, specifically. Yes. Oh, there's a couple well, there's of There's a Cayman in there. There's a Cayman in there. Look how slow they A going. Cayman that is dressed as a GT4 and is actually a GTS. Right. Or, or it's a GT4 and he's down badged And it. then there was a GT, the turbo dressed as a GT2. Anyway, electric yeah. cars. Yeah. So that and stuff, we were, were, we were talking about the price. <laughs> yeah. This is, in, we found out the Canadian price, by the way. It's, it starts at 99,900 or something. So it's $100,000 Canadian for this. Yes. Which is a significant amount of money because it outprices the Model Y long range, it outprices the new yep. BMW iX. Yep. It's but, a lot of money. But, like, it's very nice in here. Yeah. Very nice. And if you listen closely, it makes the weird thrum of a flat six. <laughs> you know what it can do? It can stay with 911s on a canyon run. Yeah. Yeah, but, we literally are. Look at that. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, gravel, gravel, gravel. And gravity, I think, is going to be the issue what here. What is flying around? Oh, the charging cable. The charging cable. Is, so is we've, we've actually had charging adventures with this car since you last saw us oh, gee, walking around it. Oh, okay. Um, so we managed to charge this. They've, they've, in, in, they've improved the onboard charger for this. So beforehand, if you got an I-Pace, it would have been 12 and a half hours at home to charge, which is, we've been talking about this, that's actually too long. That means if you go to bed and wake up in the morning, you're not fully charged. Now it's eight and a half hours, so you can go to bed and I wake feel up. I like I need to get on your level of caffeine right now. I'm just, I'm a morning guy. You know? <laughs> Are you? Okay, I can't turn the way the 911s turn. I can feel no. the weight. This way is 4,800 pounds. We can fill pounds. the gap in with this. Yeah, there's <laughs> plenty of torque. We've got 512 so pound feet of torque. So this does four and a half seconds to 60. And I have hustled this thing around canyons, and honestly, it is 
severely impressive. Yeah. There's no feel to the steering whatsoever. No, there absolutely is feel. It's no, there up. is not. Are you, have you, were you in the right mode? I was. I tried every mode. I tried all the modes, and there's. This it, is it's absolutely numb. waiting up in the corners. Okay, it's waiting up, but there's no feel to it. Okay, so it's like a Maserati MT20. Well, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Okay. It feels. It feels confident. This drives, even though it's the bigger looking thing, and we mentioned about the Ionic 5. Yep. This drives the way I wanted the Ionic 5 to drive. Pretty much. It, it drives the way the Ionic 5 looks and the EV6 look, but those drive a little bit more soft and not as sharp. And this is twice the price with less range, less ability to charge at speed. <laughs> because it, it, this thing Oh, here's a squeal from the tires. But it's it's such an impressive car to drive. The drive I did not expect. I know it's a Jag, so I should have been a bit more like, you know, should have given it some credit. But yeah, yeah. I mean, you look at it and you assume it's just going to be kind of another. Uh, those are your sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I you assume it's going to be just kind of another kind of crossover thing, right? Yeah. But they, they did obviously spend some time tuning the damping. Can you switch me into a more aggressive driving mode? I think I'm doing this whole thing yeah. in eco right now. You are, yeah. Uh, that's rain and ice rain and, and snow. Ice. Quickly get me out oh, of that. I need to be in sport. Eco, comfort, dynamic. Oh yeah. Oh, oh all yeah. the gauges go red. Oh. See, now if we're in trouble for going fast, all the Porsches are in trouble first. So we're just like, yeah. well, we're gonna go tell them off. That's what we're doing. I love that I can just stamp on it here, and just catch up. We'll just we'll just play if we get pulled over, we'll just play the card of I just thought this is we're just with traffic. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we're portion it right now. Oh my god. This this guy's having the worst canyon run because he's gotta feel like he's like, I'm just I'm I'm pushing it here and this like SUV is keeping <laughs> up behind me. This wasn't planned, by the way. No, we we, we just turned on the canyon and we're like, screw yeah. it, we'll do it. Yeah. So it doesn't charge as fast as some of the cheaper options. It doesn't have as much range, but the range is actually fine. The problem is, I find, is that it does. It's just very expensive now, and it's also not super consistent with how much range it tells you it has left. No, no. Right. But we had an okay charging experience. In fact, let's talk about that a minute because we don't talk about the charging experience. Now, the you had an okay charging experience. I, I mean, it was, it was we... okay. Yeah, you were just really tired. But yeah, the, awesome. the caveat here is if you have an EV, you probably have a charger at home, which we don't have. So we have to face the extra logistics of not having that. And last night, we drove home from Willow Springs to LA, which is about a two hour drive. Yeah. And we, we, didn't did, we didn't have enough range to start with. So the car didn't let us down in terms of expectation, but it means we had to stop at an Electrify America charger. Yes, which didn't work. The first one didn't work, and not only that, even yeah. if you could justify the charge times to yourself, like this takes, this said an hour and three minutes to full. To full, yeah. Uh, and I think it's like 40 minutes to 80%. The thing that we didn't account for was a queue for the chargers. There's only three of them. And they were all being used. So yeah. that's another extra block of time. So I can't believe how well this car drives, by the way. Yeah, I know. I can. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Oh, God. <laughs> These 911s got feel terrible. They're like, I bought this for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, it hustles. Yeah, it really, really does. We uh, were using this to, to chase down uh, Ferraris and yeah. MC20s as a camera car in the canyons, and it did it, it no problem. I bet the Mustang mach -E could probably do this just as well. The Mustang mach -E could definitely Credit, credit to the mach -E. It's yes. got great driving dynamics. And it is also about half the price, a little bit more. So th that's, I think that's the biggest issue here, is that this now, even if they, even with the changes they've made and they've upgraded this infotainment, you've gone with it, haven't you? Yeah, so this is, I don't think I've ever been in a JLR car where the infotainment has worked. No. Except for this one. This is the first time this screen has not malfunctioned and it has been totally fine and usable and it's reasonably fast. And, it's just the rest of it's more even more usable than than a Tesla or whatever, right? Because we've got a lot of hard buttons for the stuff that matters, right? The climate control is a bit weird with these knobs and stuff, but I, you know, I got used to it. I'm fine. And like, I'm assuming these are like some sort of like vegan leather or something. I don't even know. I didn't look it up, but they're really, the leather's really nice. Everything feels very, very comfortable and the seats are great. Also, it's so quiet on the highway very quiet. So quiet, right? Not like a lack of engine noise, just the insulation from the road. 
Yeah, like and, on a that, concrete highway. That's where it would embarrass the Ionic 5s and the EV6s. I think so, and yeah. I, I said to Thomas, I was like, you know, how much would you pay, if everything else was the same as Ionic 5, how much would you pay for the level of quietness this brings? And we both kind of agreed on like the 10 grand. 10 grand, yeah, like number. like 10 grand would give, if it gave me, it, it doesn't though, it's way more. Yeah, it's, it's but, as like aspect, it's, it's, because it's the HST, over a top trim Ionic 5 EV6, it's 40 grand Canadian more. So yeah. whatever that is, 25 US more. But it is a Jag and there is a badge associated with it and it's driving dynamics, wipe the floor with those cars and the range isn't far off. So I totally get this. I think this car has been slept on and I'm part of the problem. Yeah, it is. I've it always is. just been like, oh, it's the I-Pace. That's one of those early EV ones. Yeah, so, it's one of the early, it's exactly yeah. what it is. It's, an, it's one of those early ones that they, they did it as like an experiment or to lower their, their fleet average fuel economy or whatever it was, right? But this is now a good EV, no question. If you bought this and you spent more money over an Ionic 5, I would go, good job, good work, yeah. good choice. Yeah. Like like 100%, it's, it's, not, it's not a question whether or not um, it's good enough for the price. It's a question of whether or not you want to pay the price. And I thought we'd be snubbed at the Charger. I thought the guys in the ID4 and the Kona Electric would be like, oh, this one, oh, it's got the eye pace, oh. Yeah. And they were, everyone was so, I was so ready to be like, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and every, everyone was so nice. Yeah. And they were like, hey, I'm just going to be done in a minute. Because um, yeah. we, we could work out the etiquette. If someone's at 92%. And, we, and we, the, we're like waiting in queue. Yeah, because you can see, you can see how much charge they've got. If someone's at 92% and we're sitting there like, oh, like, are they expected to be like, you know what, that is enough for me right now? <laughs> yeah. Or, or do you let them get to 100? Because we were about to knock on the window and be like, excuse me, have you had enough? Yeah. <laughs> um, but he, he told us he'd almost finished. So. He ended up being a very nice gentleman, so I'm glad that we didn't say anything. Oh my God. So, it can do a 911 can you run? Yeah. Its range is okay. The interior is wonderful. Yeah. The materials are lovely, as you said. And we've it got... looks pretty cool, right? It looks pretty cool. It's just, it's a bit expensive. But you know what? It can for, generate some G-forces. Yeah, but for, <laughs> for the panache of the brand? Panache? That's a word. That it sounds is. like something from British Bake Off. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a chocolate panache. <laughs> oh, is that a ganache? It's a ganache. No, that's a, I don't know. It is very early in the morning, so we've lost some of our vocabulary, yeah. but the brand associated with it, which is quite fancy. Oh, it's a thin bit of road. I'm just gonna take it big. Yeah, it's quite a fancy brand. Yep. It's quite a fancy car. I think it's worth the money. I mean, if you're looking for an EV that's different and cool and nice and yeah. drives well, I mean, it's good. It's maybe like, some people might consider it a little bit overpriced, but I don't think it is. I think, I think the sense. people buying it aren't gonna care. Probably not, no. Because I think from, from the driver's seat, I, I have no problems with this car. It's been lovely and it's, it's just- embarrassing yeah. 911s, so. Well, I've slowed down now just because. And you're still keeping up. Well, I can just plant my foot. And make up the gap. <laughs> it does make some sounds. Oh, there it goes. You have yeah. to be really on it. That's yeah. actually, I think that's one of the first times I've heard that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's great. Yeah. It's great. I can't, probably can't embarrass a tie cut, but normal no. 911s, full of dads. <laughs> full of dads, for sure. <laughs> we can do it.